ladies and gentlemen, dear chairman of the session. Uh, I would like to introduce our experience with treatment of severe comminuted pylon fractures by Elizarov external fixation. Pylon fracture accounts approximately 7 to 10 percent of all tibial fractures. Most of them resulted from high energy trauma. The approach for treatment of severe comminuted pylon fracture is still controversial. Concomitant injuries are common and should be ruled out. You may see fracture of other limbs, uh, tibial shaft fracture, it may be compartment syndrome, spinal cord injury, spinal column injury, and other. One of the problem of the pylon fractures is severe swelling and blisters, uh, which appears uh, even in the first day after injury and may uh, make uh, open surgery impossible for first or even for second week after injury. Many classifi classification proposed to classify the pylon fractures. Rudy Algor classification is type 1, no significant articular incongruity. Uh, small displacement type 2, significant articular incongruity with minimal impaction or comminution. And type 3, significant articular comminution with metaphysical impaction. Uh, another classification is mass classification, is combination of Lauch Hansen classification and ankle fracture and through the Algor classification. Uh, orthopedic trauma association classification, a little bit complicated to daily use. We used Rudy Algor classification in our area. 38 patients with uh, severe comminuted pylon fracture were treated from 1995 till 2008 by Elizarov external fixation. <coughs> there were two females <coughs> and 36 males. Age ranged from 24 to 66 years. Uh, mechanism of injury was eight patients had road accident, 14 after work accident, Six patients had sport injuries and 10 home and other injuries. Eight patients in our area had polytrauma. Nine of uh, 38 patients had open pylon fractures. According uh, to Rudy Algor classification, six patients had fracture type 1 and 32 patients had type 3 fracture. Uh, Patients with type, uh, uh, excuse me, 6 has type 2 and 32 type 3. Patients with type 1 were not operated with the Lizarov uh, technique. Our technique, uh, first of all, percutaneous rush pin fixation of fibula if necessary in order to restore the length of the leg. Second, frame composition, three rings and foot frame. Fixation of proximal ring to tibia by one wire and two half pins. Fixation of calcaneus to foot frame by 2K wire. Then we do ligamentotaxis, apply destruction into the frame. Perform close reduction by destruction. And then we add uh, uh, small olive wires in order to restore uh, anatomy of the ankle joint. At the end, we perform additional stabilization of the frame. All patients were operated upon with uh, the first 10 days after injury. In 14 patients, internal, uh, internal fixation of the fibula by rush pin was performed in addition to Elizarov uh, fixation. Plate or screw fixation were not used in our area. Only six patients had open reduction of distal tibia prior to external fixation during same surgery. Small fragment fixation was achieved by olive wires and frame composition consisted three rings and foot frame. Bone grafting was done in four cases. Bone substitute grafting in five cases. Pedicle skin flap and skin grafting was performed in uh, four patients. You may see patient after the surgery, after open fracture, and the uh, uh, first uh, vacuum system was applied, but uh, we still had uncovered bone, 
So patient was reoperated and pedicle flap was performed in order to uh, cover the uncovered bone. Length of external fixation ranged from 2.5 to 4.5 months. Uh, all fractures healed with a good callus formation. No cases of delayed union, malunion, or osteomyelitis were observed. 18 of 38 cases were done with true luck reading external fixation. is same as Elizar of external fixation, just uh, from aluminum frame composition easier, instrument set is more friendly, and the device is much lighter. Eight of 38 patients had excellent result, 21 patients had good result, and nine patients had fair result, mainly due to osteoarthritis after trauma. Case, uh, I would like to introduce a couple of cases. Case number one, 37 old man <coughs> on admission with severe community displaced open fracture of uh, distal tibia fibula. Uh, intraoperative anatomically reduction, anatomical reduction of the fracture. Uh, one month post-op, you may see limp into the frame and uh, approximately three and a half, four months after surgery, frame removed, and uh, you may see final X-ray five months after surgery. Uh, this uh, post-operative result of uh, 66 years old uh, diabetic man with uh, uh, displaced comminuted uh, pylon fracture, and you may see function six months after surgery. Case number three, 36 years old man after work accident with uh, displaced fracture uh, of the pylon surgery was done on the third post-operative day. Anatomical reduction was achieved. You may see reduction of the medial malleolus with olive wire was performed as well. Uh, the limb into the frame, control X-ray after surgery, and uh, we allow uh, weight bearing immediately after surgery uh, as, as much as patient may uh, tolerate. Ten weeks after surgery, uh, we had fracture healing and the uh, device was removed. Case number four, 42 years old, uh, old female after home accident with a displaced pylon fracture, uh, closed reduction, frame fixation, post-operative X-ray, and you may see one week after removal, approximately four months after surgery, she walks with limping, but in future she walks normally without restriction of motion of ankle joint. Last case, 48 years old man with a severe comminuted pylon fracture, uh, closed reduction, anatomical reduction was achieved. Stabilization into the frame, fixation of the medial malleolus in addition, rush pin into the fibula. Uh, relatively low percentage of the excellent and good result uh, since Elizarov method was used only in most difficult cases. If it possible, Minimal invasive surgery with stable fixation is still preferred. Uh, based on this study, it seems that Elizar of external fixation is a very useful method for treatment of severe comminuted pylon fractures. Thank you.